Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. This is Vita Fuser. In our last episode, we made it to Thorny Tower's home for the disturbed. Now, as you can see, I have brains here. I've rebrained most of uh, I've rebrained them. They've given me a lot more uh, Behind you, health. General. I have also gotten all of the scavenger hunt items. We've rebrained JT, Maloof, Chops, Milka, Kitty, Chloe, Frank, and Frankie. So, that out of the way, time to get started back to the grounds. We can tackle these, these, uh, mines in any order that we want. But the best way to do it is to go with Gloria first. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Uh, are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey, what? You're supposed to be dead. <gasps> ah! There's our health page. Yeah, Gloria has some issues. Help Gloria control her mood swings. Shut up, menu. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God! Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky. Get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Agatha Home. Uh oh Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. Right. I'll go talk to her. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That happens. Happening lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. Okay, then. First, we move my camera out a little bit. There. That's better. First tag, that. Gosh. There's the duffel bag. Suitcase. There's tag. a suitcase. That's what I need here. Ah, nice travel clef. Really 
Yeah, this is an on this is honestly one of the smaller levels. So there's no real danger of getting lost here. Not like in the Milkman conspiracy, that's for darn sure. See there's the orchestra pit. In another life I might have been destined for this part. But not here but not this one. You can say that this chorus is at least in tune. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Most likely a violin. It could be a viola. And the cymbals man. We can't do that quite yet. Do you see us as? Not getting me. Not getting me. I must be out of range or something. Not getting anything. Not getting anything. Oh, he's also uh, not awake, so that won't really work. Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. So 
so you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? No. God awful slices of glorious, terrible life. How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs> okay, before we do that, I missed something. I did get the steamer trunk tag. Okay, that was what I was trying to find. We got five of seven cobwebs, and we got half of the uh, figments. Not bad. More figments. There's the memory vault. Galloping around like a frickin' pony. Glorious Cruel Training. Hagatha's Home for Girls. Oof. Yeesh. Cruel training's right. Yikes. So. Glorious story, as we are about to find out. Her mom and her manager had a thing going on. And then she had... Her mom had her. And her manager thought that, that Gloria was going to rain her, bring her down. So they dumped her off here. Yeah. Oh, come on. So they dumped her off at uh, the boarding school. Her mom said she'd write her back. Her manager apparently never sent her letters. And so she was there for a very long time. Alrighty, there we go. just the beginning here. There's the suitcase tag. Well, we've taken care of all the mental cobwebs, that's for sure. Four out of the figments. We've got one memory vault.
See, there's the candle, the big one. Put it in there. Here that'll knock him dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Uh, we already seen some strange stuff in the last mind. I don't really get how anything can top this. Okay, so as you've probably guessed, the entire thing of this of this is we have to put the right kinds of uh, plays in the right with the right mood. And oh boy! Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, man. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in. And... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this crop hot air balloon down from the catwalk and then pull it back up again. If you find it, I'm bringing out a play for crying out loud. Just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. So, how do you bring me it? UCS is one and a half stars, really. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Cats get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. <sighs> But what Stop spitting say, popcorn at me. That's almost impossible. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking for children. Right. 
and he was just trying to lighten things up around Ah, I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now, or she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Whatever you say. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. to different set pieces. with this one. That is fake water. That still triggers the hand of Galokio. Hey, there's a setup there. Seems a bit more appropriate. Wah, ha, ha. Welcome to Hack at the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical discipline. Wah, ha, ha. Very nothing more tedious than the 
tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art! Ah. Well, there is the, uh... Um, hot air balloon. Now, if you go down here... The actors will attack you. music almost reminds me of uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Particularly when they had a Boogie Boogie on stage.
beautiful. Laces, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the veil, but approaching. Ah, oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl.
Let's see what the sad part is, because that kind of didn't quite go right. lighting. Whatever is 
long, little girl. been no censors. We have had no censors in this area. again. Thank you. 
marks my sanctuary. She left the house, the house of horrors. Gloria von Guten became a really big star. And then she found out that because she became such a big star, and you heard that her mom didn't want her to leave Europe because she became a bigger star than she was, well, uh, her mom committed suicide. And, uh, because of that, She broke down very understandably so, and the crowds turned on her until she suffered a mental break. Yeah, poor thing. sensors. again. all the 
tags. I'll do the subtitles on. I don't know why I didn't do that. And that's all the emotional baggage. I am the Phantom. Now believe. Time for us to get cracking. to get rid of this guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
we go. Choked at the very end. You can walk away from the stage, young man, but show business will always be a part of you. I better not have to do all that again. Okay, good. I don't have to do all that again. That's what, big guy. Beam of fire! Cure him before he gets over here! 
the matter? Can't you take a little criticism? Now you're the one hamming it up. That's what happens when you let your critic, your crit inner critic, get too bad. loudest to yourself. You can always temper it down. That said, I will see you guys next time as we go to the next level. See you guys then.